Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. So my name is Jasmine. I will be going by Jasmine Marie on this channel. And today I'm going to be bringing to you guys a hair tutorial. This wig is by Catherine Hair. And this wig here is a 4x4 closure bob unit. I'm going to be showing you guys that it is a straight unit and it's about 8 inches. So that's what I'm going to be talking about here. Just showing you guys the packaging, everything that it comes with. So yeah. So. So I had to do a voice over over the recording. Um, of course, you can still hear me talking a little bit, but it was very low. So that's why I decided to do the voice over. But um, I paid $60 for this unit and I definitely paid with my own coin. This video is not sponsored. So yeah. Here I'm just staying out of the bag. The hair is very soft. Like this hair was so soft. I was like, oh my God, like this hair was really soft. Although it was soft, it was a little thin. Now the density said 150%, but it was very um, thin. It was flowy. It came with four combs. Now the lace was looking, okay, yeah, mm, okay. It was looking, you know, real good, like real, not transparent, but maybe transparent, not HD, but it was looking real good, real, real good. It also came pre-plucked and it was definitely pre-plucked. I've bought wigs before where it says that it's pre-plucked and it's not. This unit was actually pre-plucked and I did not have to pluck it at all so here I'm bleaching the knots on the unit I did record a video of me actually mixing up the bleach however I recorded it the wrong way so I did not insert the video because it was completely wrong. So um, definitely check out a video of how to mix the bleach mixture or I can also, you know, upload a video of how to properly mix it. Keep in mind, you do want the bleach to be um, thick. You want it to be as thick as possible. So yeah. Um, here, I was just washing the bleach out and using the purple shampoo. However, I bleached, well, I put the bleach on this unit, went downstairs talking to my family and everything for about an hour, girl, forgot the whole bleach was even sitting on the wig, okay? So, I over bleached a little bit, but, you know, I was like, it's going to be cool. Ooh, baby, okay? That lace was showing scalp okay so i was like you know it's gonna be good i'm gonna just put some makeup on it or spray the little lace tint and it's gonna look real scalpiana okay so here you can just see you know it's a little bit of a process but it still look good you know some of the hair is turned a little bit blonde but you know once i spray that lace tint and stuff on it it's gonna be all good however I got to installing this wig and forgot to put some makeup or spray on it or anything, but it still came out bombs.com. So this is the process of me blow drying. So after blow drying, I went to part my part as a middle part. And um, I really did not, like I said, had to pluck this unit. So the only thing that I did pluck and it was very minimum plucking i even did it with my hand and not even used the tweezers one because i couldn't find them let's start there but two because i mean i was just plucking the part and i really didn't have to pluck a lot because it looked really good so i just parted the part how i wanted it and then just pulled out the hairs that i did not need in the middle part
Okay, so after I plucked it, I sprayed my unit down with this molding spray by Wigs by May. Y'all, when I tell you this molding spray is one of the best molding sprays I have ever used, like this spray will have your wig bust down looking right, okay? This I purchased off of a woman that I follow on TikTok. Her name is May. She go by Wigs by May. She also sells units as well. But definitely check out this molding spray when you get a chance because this molding spray right here ain't no joke okay period And one more thing I can say about this molding spray is it doesn't leave like any residue and it also doesn't make your hair hard. Sometimes we come across molding sprays that will lay your unit down but it also leaves white residue and it makes the hairs hard. This molding spray does not do that. So as I start applying the unit, first I'm going to go ahead and put my, what is that stuff called? Ghost Bond. All my lace come my ear holes out and yeah we're just going to blend that in i did do one small layer first and then i did a second layer but this all counts as one because i just didn't put enough and then i sprayed some spritz on it and i'm gonna blow dry it so just for that process of doing my cap i only do one layer and then i'm just gonna cut the excess cap to that i do not need off of my head girl get your words together so after we cut the sides off, of course, instead of cutting the lace, I'm going to just turn to the back and I'm going to actually tie the knot. Here I'm just showing you how to connect the, what's something that is called? <laughs> the strings on the back of your wig, okay? Okay, so now that the wig is applied, we're going to start with the ghost bond. We're going to do our first layer and we're going to smooth that out. After we smooth that out, we're going to blow dry it completely. Once we blow dry that first layer, we're going to do a second layer, a second layer and blow dry it. And then we're going to do a third layer and we're going to blow dry that as well. I'll come back after that whole process. And of course, you know, I had to have a concert in the process of me blow drying my unit, okay? I don't even remember what I was singing, but your girl was feeling it, okay? I was getting into it, getting into it, because your girl, okay, period, and on point, period. It's the fact that I was rocking and bop, bop. Yeah, girl, that wig is not on your head. Slow it down. Slow it down. Bam. Ooh. 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 <laughs> okay, girl, you gonna leave with a rock when it's too hard. That thing gonna fall off. Stop playing, girl. Stop playing. <laughs> Anyways, now it's time to go ahead and lay that lace down. And we're gonna take our rat to comb. And we just gonna push the front of that hair into that ghost bond okay we're gonna smooth that out make sure that it's getting all up in there okay and we're gonna smooth that in So after that process, I'm going to go back in with that spritz and I'm going to put the spritz on top of it and then I'm going to blow dry it first and then I'm going to put on my band.
Okay, girl, so after that process, I'm going to take my hot comb and I'm going to go through the hair. And then I'm going to take my straightener and I'm going to just start straightening the unit, seeing what it looks like, framing it to my face, and yeah. So now that that's good, I'm going to go ahead and remove the band. And it's looking late, okay? She looking real good, okay? So after I do that, I believe I'm about to cut the lace off. So just watch that process. So as you see, I started with the scissors and then I used a little razor and I cut the lace off with the razor. Um, now during this process, of course, the lace is going to lift a little because you're pulling on it and then you're also cutting it with scissors or razor. So it is going to lift a little. So after that, I do go back in with the end of a rat tooth comb and the got to be, I mean, not got to be, girl, bye. The, um ghost bond and i relay the parts that are lifted as you can see right here So after this process, I go back in with that pump it up and I put it on my hands and apply it on that lace and then I apply the band back on and blow dry it. Yep. Yep. Bam! Oh baby, man, that lace is looking good, okay? Real good. So after this process, I go back in with the straightener and I get all the pieces that I could not straighten with the band on. I go ahead and straighten that and then just, you know, do it how I need it to be done. So I'm just going to be straightening the unit, seeing how it flows and getting it all together. So I'm just going to let you guys enjoy this process and I'll be back after it. So at this point, I was loving it. I was loving it. I was like, okay, you know, I was loving it. It was still giving a little thin, but, you know, I was really loving it. So I decided to go ahead and throw some curls in it just so it can frame my face a little bit better. And I actually liked the way that it turned out. So this is the process of me just throwing a little bit of curl in it, you know, to frame my face. And your girl must say, I love it. I love this wig. And as you guys seen, I did not put any makeup or anything on it. And it still came out bomb, okay? So just know if that if you were to apply that process, then it would look 10 times better. So as we close out this video, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and your girl will be back to see you guys in the next one. Thank you.